Hello, and welcome to this Fallout 4 settlement tour. This is Extreme Wackazoid, and today we're looking at Starlight Drive-In. This is on the PS4. I'm using a number of mods, which are listed below. And Starlight Drive-In is a large build space. It is a drive-in. And uh, so I wanted to play around with that. I hadn't really given my settlers any single-family homes, so I wanted to do a bit of that. And uh, so... Hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you can do with the space. And of course you can go on top of this uh, theater screen. And I didn't, and so I wanted to show you uh, what I've done up here. I wanted to put up a, like a penthouse uh, residence and I wanted it to look like it could actually be supported. So it's on top of these uh, crossbars here. And uh, it's kind of a shotgun house, meaning if you shoot a shotgun you'd hit every room like a rail house and um, I'm using gas lighting here and these are warehouse walls there's a lot of blue in starlight drive-in so I wanted to do a lot of blue skins so here's a toilet and uh, there's some skylighting this is the uh, Institute shower uh, sink and a double bed right here and so this is kind of the luxury housing so I wanted Starlight Drive-In to be a little more up, upper scale, I suppose. Like I mentioned with the um, single home, single family homes. And here's uh, some candlelight sconces to light up the stairway. And I did want to do something with the rooms back here. And so here's just a residence with a sink and a toilet and a water fountain. And here's another um, residence with a shower and a toilet as well and a sink and a water fountain and there's just this lighting here that just exists and you can't get rid of it so it looks kind of weird uh, since Starlight Drive-In is a drive-in I wanted to, to have a ring of cars going along the outside barrier of the build area and uh, if you want to do that you just have to be a little careful of which cars you choose because a lot of the cars will explode after being hit by uh, bullets and things like that and it so becomes a very dangerous proposition so there's some cars that do not explode and I, I think I chose all of those or at least I hope I did and uh, over here is a guard uh, this does come under attack and attackers typically come from over there I have, I believe, eight settlers. It's just the efficient number of settlers. So it's uh, three farmers, four vendors, a provisioner, and a, uh, in this case, a guard. This is the sort of diner area that already exists, and so I wanted to do something with that by putting an actual restaurant inside. I like to have a restaurant because at the end of the night, um, your settlers will come and congregate here and they'll line up and it'll look like they're getting food and if they if you put these bar stools they'll sit there also and so basically I use scrap that settlement to clear the whole place out and then I use the rug, rug glitch to fit the tier 3 uh, restaurant stand all the way up against the wall that already exists and I think I did a pretty good job of that so he actually fits inside and it looks like somewhat like a functioning restaurant with a fridge and an oven and a sink. And then on top of here is a lot of my wiring with some defense turrets. So those are minigun and heavy lasers. And I like to keep my turrets up high so it'll protect them from melee attackers. My settlers are growing mute fruit. It's the most efficient food to grow. And typically, uh, I give them all the same outfits, but here I gave them uh, different outfits, again, to have a little more upper scale, I suppose. So they're wearing laundered dresses and laundered suits. If you're familiar with the space, inside here is a large uh, lake with uh, some nuclear material that you can scrap. And so I wanted to put a bunch of water purifiers in there it's one of the few areas where I'm farming a lot of water purifiers and I also have my power source in there 
and I always protect my power source because attackers will go after it. In this case, it is fully protected. Uh, you wouldn't really even guess what's inside there, I think. So this is the first uh, single family home. And so I'll take you up and in. Uh, it's a living room area with some furniture, a hi-fi set, some plants, a queen-size bed. And then up here is a restroom area with a sink and a shower. And um, this is like a, a gym set and a, a camera and a recording studio. So I don't know, maybe they're actors that live in this residence. And then inside here, again, is another single-family home with a <clears throat> table and chairs, a radio, queen-size bed, and then, like, a boxing ring. I kind of struggled with what I'm actually going to put in, in here. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe they are athletes that live in this home. And then I'll take you up here so you can kind of see inside the uh, where they have some power sources in there and the water. You have to leave it somewhat open to, to be able to wire it. And in here is my other vendors. So uh, I have a clinic vendor. I give them a lab coat. I uh, use these tier 3 vendor stands so I can, and I place items in the stand so it looks like they're actually selling something. And there's a gurney there. And with the clothing vendor, I like to use these armor stands so it looks like they're actually selling clothing. And then I drop and place items inside the stands there. And here's my junk vendor. And with the shelving, what I do is I build the shelf out in an open space. And then I raise and lower the, the shelf with a concrete pillar select all trick. And then I place items on each shelf with the OC decorator mod. And then I bring the whole thing back inside. And I like to use these ceiling fan lights to keep it cool. And so here's the other single family home. There's a laundry set, um, plant, Edotronic, place to hang out. And um, a number of different containers. And it's uh, well carpeted. So hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you can do with the space. If you like what you see, hit like and you can subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you.